My name's Christina and I am the great 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 granddaughter of Robert Rashid Stanley and I'd always known that we'd had somebody in our family who was a mayor so we were always very proud of that but what I didn't know and what none of us knew until very recently was that he had actually become Muslim um, and that just knocked us all for six because my own brother Stephen had also become Muslim many years before this discovery. My dad called me up and told me to sit down. I was absolutely astounded. It's unbelievable, really. I mean, I became a Muslim back in 1991 when it was uh, pretty unusual. I remember at the time I'd been wandering around uh, the east side of Manchester, Duckingfield Sailor Bridge, where we're from, feeling like I was probably pretty much the only person who'd uh, converted to Islam. And, um, but there you have it. My own great, great, great grandfather had done it over a hundred years before. And none of us knew anything about it. What I'm interested in is what took him on this journey, what made him change his faith, what made him change his views about the world, um, and how his family dealt with it. What, what were his family's views? Because obviously, quite clearly, the family covered it up for so when we found out this incredible discovery we were obviously extremely thirsty for more information and my dad did all the hard work of uncovering whatever we could find out about his life. We were extremely fortunate in that, again, as, as a working class man in Victorian times, there was very little recorded information about him. We also were really astonished to find out that he was extremely close to um, Abdullah William, who is one of the most famous Victorian converts to Islam. Robert Rashid actually became the vice chairman of the mosque in Liverpool, which was set up by William. We actually found some information on him in the Crescent, which is the first ever Islamic newspaper in Britain, which William himself set up. We now want other people to find out about the things that he did as a loyal citizen of Stale Bridge and Ashton and Manchester, but also the contributions that he made to the Islamic world and to the growth of Muslim society in Britain today. Of course, people think that Islamophobia is a modern term, and it is, but this has been going on for many, many years. Even before he decided to become a Muslim, he was writing to the Prime Minister, he was writing to the Caliph, he was outraged at what was happening to Muslims across the world. He was giving speeches in Manchester about what was happening in terms of the implications of British foreign policy. Eventually, he decided to change his life and his faith and, and become a Muslim. Of course, that had massive consequences. He was immediately treated with suspicion by the British government, as were all the other Muslim converts at the time, followed by the secret services. It would have been quite frightening for him, um, perhaps even more so from his family, where people just don't do these things. They don't change the religion. They don't start getting involved in international politics. Um, so when he did die, very sadly, this was all covered up, which you can understand just before World War One breaking out. But I think for me that makes this story even more important to tell now when people are scared to speak out against things that are going on in the world, things that maybe we're not happy about in our own country. So what we want to do now is to compile all of the information and the research into a book that will reach people from very different backgrounds, different communities, telling them this incredible story and then going out there as well to do a performance so that people can hear it from ourselves really about this amazing man, what he achieved and the messages that we can all learn from the very brave decision that he made with his own life. And from that point on, we hope to do other things such as an exhibition and just bringing more people into discovering the wonderful heritage that we all have and that we all share. My name is Brian Longdon. I'm the great-great-grandson of Robert Rashid Stanley. Thank you for watching this and thank you.
Then it's what you can give up with 31.5.